was freaking wait, AFK wait, for like wait, wait, two uh, minutes. God dang, and then you get all mad at me for coming back and going ham. <laughs> Have you guys got these kids unmuted? They're so funny. <laughs> no. No. Alright, what's up guys? It's Inky or Jaden here. Now, today I thought this video would be a good idea just basically explaining why I enjoy playing Call of Duty Ghosts because a lot of you guys have been leaving comments recently asking why I bother wasting my life playing such a shit game. Honestly, I think that is completely false. This game is by far my most favourite Call of Duty and it always has been. So today we'll be getting into some reasons as to why I love it and why I think you guys should start playing it. So I've written a few sticky notes down in no particular order. We'll just get straight into the reasons. So the first reason I love about this game is the vibrant colours for you guys that don't know, this, when this game came out, a lot of people complained about the colours actually being very dull. Now, when you play it, a tip is turn your saturation up to around 50, bring your brightness down to about negative 3, negative 5. That way you get the best colours out of it. And yeah, that's just something I love about this game. The colours are super vibrant. The graphics are awesome. On this game, the edges, you know, are sharp edges. We're on Black Ops 2, it's very cartoony. You don't really have sharp edges. It's more smooth, round surfaces. I don't like it. I think the game looks so stupid. On this, the graphics are awesome. That's what I love about this game. Another thing I love about this game, when you hit shots on this, guys, it's by far the most rewarding COD compared to any other Call of Duties. When you hit, not only do you get X you know, your XP like all other CODs, you actually get an orange hit marker. And if you haven't hit it on it, you won't know really what I mean, but trust me, when you hit and that orange hit marker comes up, it just makes it so rewarding. You know, it just adds a, something to, adds a little something to the game, just make it that much better. Now, now they're the two boring things I want to get across. Now we can get into the good stuff. So obviously, I love search and rescue. That's one thing I love about this game. Not only is it getting to last and you get more attempts, because obviously, let's say we had search and rescue and carrier, right guys? You're all trick running from the jets, obviously. When you get to last, you're always, even on Ghost, whatever game, what map, you're always trickshotting from a similar spot as your teammates. So what that means, when you get killed, your teammate's always going to be two steps away from you. That means you get revived instantly as soon as you die. So you always get the trick shot throughout the whole entire round, all the way to the end. You'll notice, in all my shots I've hit on Ghost, I've always died at least once or twice. In this gameplay, I've already died, you know, I shouldn't be trickshotting right now. But you get more opportunities to trickshot. And like I said, because you're always getting revived, you get the trickshot throughout the whole round, rather than getting like two attempts and dying and that. That's it. Also, not only do you get the trick shot for longer and you get more attempts, the game mode in general is so much better than Search and Destroy. Because in S and D, everyone's worried about dying, so everyone you know plays it slow. They can. In Search and Rescue, you have that factor of getting revived, so it's a lot more fast paced. As you notice when we cleared out here in this round, everyone's running, everyone's moving. There's no campers. Everyone. It's just in general more enjoyable to play, just clearing out and getting last. Way more fun. So that's something I definitely love about Call of Duty Ghosts. Also. I think I'm in the minority for this reason here, but I love the big maps. If you guys that don't know, Call of Duty Ghosts are maps are massive, and that's what I love about it. Also, not only are the maps massive, there is so many trick shot spots. Unlike Black Ops 2, for example, you have like three trick shot spots on every map. Raid, for example, you have like two. On this game, you have like over 20 trick shot spots on every single map. Every map for this game is awesome for trick shotting, other than Strike Zone. Also, on this game, you never time out. On Black Ops 2, you always freaking time out. On this, you can go 50 games in a row, no one in your party times out. Now that's because when you guys actually host the party, you can change who's the party leader. And because of that, you can pick out who the best host is, and that way it reduces you know the chances of people timing out. So for that reason, it's really cool. Also, the last thing I want to mention, I love the style of trick showing on this game, boys and girls. I hate Black Ops 2 because it's so complex. You gotta concentrate so hard, you know, you get aggravated when you stuff up your shot. On this, you don't have to worry about complexity, you don't have to worry about stuffing up your shots, just pistol switches, throwing knife cancels, so simple, so easy, more relaxing, more enjoyable to sit back, relax, enjoy yourself. Anyways, guys, that's it from me. Hopefully you guys want to start playing Call of Duty Ghosts, because honestly, it's such a great game. It's just that no one's given a chance. Anyways, guys, I'm going. It's my birthday today. I'm 20 years old. I'm going to go enjoy myself, hit up the gym, and then just chillax. Anyways, boys, I'm out. Or boys and girls, I'm out. Have a good day. See you later. Peace. Girl.